Hello, church. Welcome to Sunday Worship. We are so excited that you are here. We will give all of our attention to God by praising, lifting him up, and listening to Pastor Ine. All right, let's go. Sanitizer, sunblock lotion, oh, snacks, charger, water bottle, and... Oh, hey church! Welcome to Sunday Worship. I'm going on my very first trip to the new park! Yay! What do you guys usually pack to go on a trip? How do you feel when you are getting ready to go on a journey? In today's Bible story, Paul is going on his first missionary journey. And he wasn't packing sunblock lotion or things like this. Let's find out what Paul did to get ready for his very first missionary journey. Slapstick Theater Paul and Barnabas This is Paul who once hated the followers of Jesus and would do anything he could to stop them from telling others about the good news of Jesus. But Paul met Jesus in a miraculous way, and his life was changed forever. Wow! He went from hunting down the followers of Jesus to being one of them himself. Yeah! All right. When Paul was in Jerusalem, he tried to meet with the believers there. Oh, I got way up. But they were all afraid of him. Oh, man. They did not believe he had truly become a follower of Jesus. Damn, yeah, huh? Follow me. Then a man named Barnabas brought him to the apostles and told them about how Paul had seen the Lord and how the Lord had spoken to Paul. Yeah, it's true. He also told them that Paul had preached boldly in the name of Jesus in Damascus. Hey. So Paul stayed in Jerusalem with the followers of Jesus. He told many people about Jesus, and they came to follow Jesus too. Paul and Barnabas went to do special work for God. Yeah! They preached the good news about Jesus in many places until they both went separate ways to tell others about Jesus. Paul was with the church in Antioch while he was worshiping the Lord and going without eating. The Holy Spirit spoke to Paul and the people who were there and said, Appoint Barnabas and Saul to do the work for which I have chosen them. The Holy Spirit told Paul and Barnabas to go and preach the gospel to others. Everyone who was there, they prayed without eating for Paul and Barnabas so they can do the job that the Holy Spirit told them to do. Paul and Barnabas traveled to Lystria. While they were there, Paul began preaching the gospel to people. And among the people, there was a man who could not walk. When Paul saw that this man had faith, he looked straight at the man and said, Stand up. And guess what, church? The man stood up. He jumped up and he started walking around. Wow! Isn't this amazing? God used Paul to not only spread the gospel, but also to heal other people. People who were there, they were all amazed. They couldn't believe what just happened. They actually thought that Paul and Barnabas were gods. So they began worshiping Paul and Barnabas. Hallelujah. They were so popular now. How would you feel if others think that you're God and begin worshiping you? Would you go, woohoo, 
Oh yeah, I'm cool. I'm a, I'm awesome. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh yeah. Hallelujah. Well, I hope that's not how you react. Paul and Barnabas were so sad that they tore their clothes and told people that they are not gods. They told people to stop being fools. This is what Paul and Barnabas said to people. Let's open to Acts chapter 14, verse 15. It says, why are you doing this? We are humans just like you. Please give up all this foolishness. Turn to living God who made the sky, the earth, the sea, and everything in them. Well, even after Paul and Barnabas had said this, people would not stop offering sacrifices to them and worshiping them. Wow, pure foolishness, right? Some Jewish leaders from Antioch and Iconium came and, and turned the crowds against Paul and Barnabas. So they started throwing stones at Paul and they dragged him out of the city. They actually thought that Paul was dead. But the believers gathered around Paul, and so he got up. Now, do you think this stopped Paul from preaching the gospel? Do you think this scared him enough to stop spreading the gospel? Do you think he said, oh man, this is too hard. This is too scary. I think I'm done. Definitely not. The next day, in fact, Paul and Barnabas went to the city of Derby. They preached the gospel to people there. So the stoning, people yelling at them and being mean to them didn't stop Paul from from. Uh, preaching the gospel. They told people there that Jesus is their savior. And many people became believers. Paul and Barnabas, they encouraged believers to keep their faith. They also told people that they may also face suffering because of their faith. They told them to never give up believing in Jesus Christ. Paul and Barnabas, they raised the next leaders and encouraged them to continue to trust, to continue to believe in Jesus. Church, sometimes you may go through suffering because of your faith. People may scream at you, they may make fun of you, point finger at you. But please do not make that stop you from loving God, from spreading the gospel. Continue to tell others that Jesus is their savior, just like Paul. I want to ask you guys to never give up on your faith and continue to believe that Jesus is your provider and your savior. You may sometimes do the same thing that people who worship uh, Paul did. You may put other things before God and think they're so cool, but we know that that is pure foolishness, right? When you realize that you're putting things before God, I want you guys to pray and say, Help us to worship you only and keep our faith and put you first in our lives. Will you guys do that? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us the Holy Spirit to help us to go through difficult times. Help us to hold on to the word and never give up on our faith. Lord, we just want to thank you so much that you are our provider, that you are one and only true living God. 
Father, help us to preach the gospel to other people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it for today, guys, and I'll see you guys next week. But before I let you guys go, we know what to do, right? We're going to say the Lord's Prayer together. So everyone, put your hands together, close your eyes, bow your heads, and we are going to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I want to encourage you guys again to keep your faith and always remember that God is with you and that Jesus is working in you to work through you. Amen? I'll see you guys next week. Bye!